Hi guys, welcome back to the podcast. Happy SGM, but happy SGM on the Tuesday. <laughs> if we're being transparent, which we always are, it's Tuesday for us, but Friday for you. How exciting yes, is that? Yes, I mean, I wish I could fast forward into the moment that it's Same. Friday. Same. So, like, lucky for you, a shame for us. A shame for us. But we are gonna make it the best Tuesday that feels like a Friday. Right. We've got this. Your friend Mandu does these hilarious videos where she says it's Monday, but it's basically Tuesday. Have you seen them? <laughs> yes, I have. I die. So, in honor of her, let's do that. It's Tuesday, but it's basically Friday. It's Friday. Happy Friday. Mm -hmm. We hope you girls are having a great start to your SGF or whatever time you're watching this. Yeah. Um, how was your weekend? My weekend was good. Um, I went to Casa Dona. Mm -hmm. That's how you pronounce it. Casa I think so. Um, wasn't a huge fan. Okay. I don't know if I'll be going back. Oh. It was cute. <laughs> it was cute, but I don't know. I was kind of um, disappointed. Okay. Yeah. Well, that disappoints me because yeah. I, I thought it would be good. I know. Me too. Maybe I'd give it another sh shot, but <laughs> I don't know. I got in trouble by the valet guy. Oh. Because, yeah, I know. He was so rude. We were waiting in valet for like 20, 30 minutes. And then when I finally get to the front, he yells at me because I went into the wrong line. I was like, well, there was a parked car there, so I don't know where I was supposed to go. So yeah, just overall. Doesn't not you know best. that customer's always right? I was like, I'm sorry, excuse me, there's a parked car over there. Maybe you should talk to them, not me. So yeah, that was my weekend. Okay. How was yours? My weekend was great. It was my brother's law school graduation. Little Manny graduated from law Baby school. Baby Manny graduated. Mm -hmm. um, and I literally, it was festive festivities the whole entire weekend. And then obviously Mother's Day on Sunday. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, it was Mother's so happy, Day. So happy Mother's Day to all our single moms out there. Yeah. Um, and if you're not a single mom and you're just watching. All the moms. Happy Mother's Day. But um, no, it was awesome. Honestly, like it was a great weekend. I'm such a proud big sister. Yes. Um, I actually had a dream last night that I was going to law school. Oh, I guess he's he inspiring you. my dreams. He inspired you. <laughs> but no, um, it was great. It was an awesome weekend. I saw your mom and dad. Yes. No SGF great, for us. They had but... a great time. Little Manny, if you're watching. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. So we proud will be of contacting you. you to do our, you legal know, stuff. legal stuff. You can be our in house lawyer. Whatever it is that lawyers do, we'll be asking you to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it was a good one. Yeah. And Mother's Day? Mother's Day was great. Yeah. Honestly, we were exhausted. Yeah. So it was just chill. Like, we just hung out at home. It's exactly what my mom wanted. So, yeah. yeah. How about you? Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Barbecue at my parents' house. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Should we get into today's topic? Let's get into it. It's a tale as old as time, girls. I was going to say that dreaded ex. It is a tale as old as time. We Your all ex have them. Coming back to you, mm -hmm. them resurfacing in some way, in some shape or form, they always, always come back. Oh, always. Lex, have you had an ex? An, oh, an ax? An have you had an ax? We need an ax for them. No, just kidding. <laughs> Would you, have you ever had an ex resurface? Yes. Yes. Yeah, and um, I'm pretty sure he had a girlfriend. And how did that make you feel? I'm um, fine. I mean, it was my choice, so it was okay. I think it's harder if it was not your choice, mm -hmm. you know, because then, like, you want to get back with them because you didn't want it to begin with, you know? Really? The breakup? Yeah, but of course, I'm sure there's some that do. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. So, yeah, mine, he tried every way. The only thing he didn't try was a message in a bottle. He tried an email. He tried LinkedIn. He tried TikTok. He tried everything. And he's blocked on all forms. So, okay. Sorry. All what right. about you? Well, yes, I have. Mm -hmm. um, not, not, uh, I've had people come back and want a second chance, but the most prominent, he came back to test the waters. Oh. Before even, you know trying anything and oh. I was very clear with with where I stood I guess I had that as well yeah would you consider that I, I would definitely consider oh. that I okay. think that's coming back so we had a testing of the waters yes they mm -hmm. they like to test the waters and I'm sure you girls have had that where yeah. they're like they know that they can't mess with you and so they come back to see how you're going to react to them being around yeah they try to do small talk like as if like yeah, i like, don't want to um, talk to you sir? hi can i help you can we get to the point like sir um do we not remember what happened here yeah 
Yeah. I, I don't, I, I can forgive, but I will never forget. Never forget. Mm-mm. Today we really wanted to talk about how to handle an ex coming back. Yeah. And how you girls have handled it in the past. Um, maybe like Lex had mentioned, if you weren't the one to make the decision, but he comes back, how to navigate that situation and figuring, figure out like maybe the tornado of thoughts that you have in your head and just, you know, sorting through it, kind of giving you our perspective mm-hmm. on and it. Others, and which others. And others. always helpful. Yes, to see so how helpful. other people handle it and stuff. Yeah. And also to see the people who did take their exes back, if it worked or not. We did, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. We do have a success story. The girl that does my eyebrows, shout out Lash House. <laughs> She's the best. She told me she married hers. I said, okay, success story. Yes, but we do so, have the percentages to see how many people oh. actually worked and oh. how many people actually didn't. Mm-hmm. It's really yeah. a case-by-case basis. It truly is. So, it truly is. Yeah. You know, it could be... Um, what was it? Right person, wrong time, which I don't always believe in that. But, you know, it could be a situation like yeah. that. So, okay. Let's so get, let's into, get into today's topic. You know, the infamous return of an ex. Mm-hmm. So, we asked you guys, has an ex of yours ever resurfaced after a breakup? 87% said yes and 13% said no. They're all the same? They are all I the think, same. You know, when I was going through my breakup, Everybody was like, they come back. Yeah, and you don't think they will. And you got to be prepared, and they come back, and they come back. And I was like, no, no. And when it happened, I was like, oh, my God, they were right. And it really, like, honestly, most of the, 87% of the time, they're going to come back. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was really interesting to see. I do wonder, since we had a lot of girls answering. um, We did have a few guys, though. I kind of went through to see. Okay, did uh, did most of them answer that yes. the girl came back? Yes. Okay, so it's pretty even in the yes and no, yeah. like, for the answers of the guys. But I, I feel like most girls are really, I don't want to say stubborn in their decision, but, like, make the right decision and move forward. Well, because also, like, I think we've kind of talked about this one time, like, about guys and being vulnerable and stuff. Like, girls have a support system. You mm-hmm. know, I don't know how guys are when going through a breakup, like, mm-hmm. their friends. But, like, girls have their friends that, like, rally around them. So it's mm-hmm. like, okay, I, ha- I have my girls. I don't need to go back. Maybe guys don't have that. So that's why they go back. Well, I also, I, I, I thought of two different things. One, uh, we've mentioned this before. I think girls think through everything. It's very... I don't want to say it's very rare, but yeah. um, girls aren't as impulsive as guys. Yeah, and I feel true. like guys make impulsive decisions without completely thinking them through. Not all guys. Not mm-hmm. all guys. Mm-hmm. But um, so I feel like they'll make an impulsive decision and be like, I need to break up. Like today I woke up and I don't want to be with her anymore and I can't be with her anymore. And girls think it through and like really, you know. We do our, our yes and no column. Yes. The pros and the cons <laughs> and the whole thing. Out. Again, this isn't all guys, but no. um, I think that, and also a lot, actually one of my guy friends told me this and it relates back to an ex always coming back. He said, when a boy and a girl break up, the girl and the guy handle things differently. The girl like goes into healing mode and processing mode and you know is dealing with the breakup the guy doesn't it's oh, three they're months partying. they're three they're months hooking they, up with other girls yes yeah hook up party filling their time up with their friends and you see it and you're like wow they're doing fine yeah and then they're and not. then after the three months yes, that's it's true. the three month mark and it was so on point three month mark they're back yeah because the grass isn't always greener on the yeah. other side. I Not know, only I that, but they then think... they start realizing like, oh, sh-, like they ha- they haven't processed their feelings. Yeah. And you can't run from your feelings. No. You can't. No. You can't run from your from your troubles. Yeah. No, that's a, that's a very good... I remember we had somebody write in saying that um, her relationship ended and he seemed fine or something like that. Do you remember? No. That he was like with other girls or something. But it's like, it's yeah, it's like what you yeah. said. I feel like they do that because they're not really processing what's yeah. going on. Yeah, so that yeah. was an interesting take from from a guy friend of mine. He had once told me that. So wise. I know. Okay. Um, next. Next poll is, have you ever gotten back together with an ex? 53% said yes. 47% said no. Honestly, pretty, I was shocked close. by the yes. So many. I know. You know, actually I'm not because it's it's familiar. Not, not like no diss to the people that do, but like I can get why you would. Yeah, I mean, have you ever gone back with an ex? No. Me neither. No. You know, 
My well, I'll, I'll talk about it in one of our other um, okay polls. So we ended up asking you guys, did it work out for the ones that got together? <laughs> so eight percent said yes, it did work out, and ninety two percent said no. That's okay. You live and you learn. You live and you learn, and you, you know what? You you, sometimes. You just got to see it through. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? Like, you learn in those situations, and it's, like, a good thing to remember. People don't change. You know, like, I think they can change temper. Like, if you broke up for whatever reason, they can come back and act like they're a different person, that they've learned, that, you know, they've changed. Mm -hmm. But they'll always go back to who they were. I don't think they changed. Well, I don't think it's about... <sighs> I don't think it's about change specifically because I do think people can change. I think that there's um, room for growth. But the way that I always picture it is, okay, if you have um, a girl who's here in her values, her morals, her relationship maturity, whatever, you know, um, and you have a guy who's here mm -hmm. and you guys broke up, okay, you broke up, time passes, he grows a little bit, but in that time, you've also grown. So then by the time that you guys get back together, you're still here. There could have been growth in his, in his like, um, yeah. life, but you, it'll be really hard to match up and be at the same level and mm -hmm. equal because hopefully in that time, you've grown as well. So that's how I think of it sometimes, is that yeah. there could be growth and there could be some changes, but what you need from that person it's very rare that if they weren't able to give it to you the first time that they're going to be able to give it to you now because there's just it's not an equal playing field yeah i was saying like from my experience personally i wanted certain things from him and he would just never and like no fault to him you know but he would just never be those things and then he would come back and act like he could be those things. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, he just can't. Yeah. Like, it's not, you know, and you don't want to change a person, but they are who they are. Yeah. So. So, yeah. yeah I think. Um, so, most of the time, it did not work out. So, but I think the lesson some... here is, like, follow your gut, but I don't know. I don't I know. I just think if it's an ex, it's an, if it didn't work out, it's for a reason. Yeah. And there, there'll be someone out there that, like, things will just be easier with. Yeah. So you don't have to force something. Well, I think for me, um, and, and it kind of ties into this next question. Um, so I'll read the next question and then I'll go into it. But how do you handle an ex when they reach back out to you or try to get back together? So um, we okay. had you guys fill in, fill in that question box. Um, one thing that I do is I remind myself that if they didn't see the value in me when we were together, then they're never going to see it. Mm -hmm. And... I think that's like how when an ex comes back, I also think of it. It's like, mm, no, you had me and you 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 dropped the ball and you let me go. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to come back? Mm -mm. I'm sorry. If you didn't realize what you had, you're never going to realize what you have. And I think even if that's not true or not, it helps me stay like stand my ground. Yeah. I think for the most part, people said, which I agree with, I love the block button. <laughs> they block. I've never blocked. I, I block. But I have unfollowed and I've muted. Yeah. But I don't block. I block, yeah. Yeah, because, but like, did you, I block because they don't respect my, like, me telling them to leave me alone, you know? Like, they continue to reach out. That's why I block. Because it's like, well, if you're not going to respect me asking you to please not reach out, then I have to block you because that doesn't help me trying to like move on in the breakup mm -hmm. if you're continuously reaching out to me. Well, I think for me, I, it was more so like it, when they came back, it was later on. So I had already processed. Oh, no. It no. wasn't right away. No. So for me, I didn't have to block. I just muted and unfollowed to like out of sight, out of mind type thing. Yeah. But I, I do think it's different. Like, obviously, everybody has a different story of why it ended, how it ended. Like, yeah, you know? I think it's all it depends on how it ended. Yeah. I think every situation is different. Yeah. Some of the other people said, depends on the ex, but I usually hear them out and then assess what I'm going to do next. This is another one. Remember that if they had any thought about not wanting you, they don't deserve you again. That I feel the exact same way. A lot of people said ignore, completely ignore, um, depends on the ex, but usually ignore. Mm -hmm. One girl says that she'll answer, who is this? Yeah, dead. Um, which I've been so tempted to do that before, but I've never done it, but I give her such big props. Um, Lie and say I'm currently dating someone. 
that's I've never done that. Have you ever done that? No. I've only done that when I'm not interested in somebody. I've done that to one guy, and yeah, it was because he was like from my gym. He was like a trainer. He yeah. Leave me alone. I only do that when I'm not interested. Yeah. In like. Which like I should do that more often. Like that's such an easy excuse. I know. I know. Like oh, I'm sorry, I'm dating someone. I know. Yeah. But uh, and then okay. somebody else said, and I just find this funny because I recently had had this. Just stared at my phone as it rang and yeah. laughed. Um, and then last of these responses that I did want to read was somebody says, depends on how it ended, but I take the higher road and act like a lady and um, it leaves a lasting impression. And I wanted to end with that on this question because I feel like as hard as it is, when you leave a... When, when you're able to walk away with your head held high and knowing that you acted right, it's so much more rewarding. Mm -hmm. And it also, I think, in my mind, it's like you make them realize, like, shoot, I really screwed up, you know? Mm -hmm. I know not everybody feels that way. And I know it's hard because emotions are involved and sometimes you lose it. Yeah. But um, yeah. I think trying to be a lady and being like as... Kind as yeah, you can it's is just, best. it's so hard because people handle things differently. Like my personality, I'm very like, I cut you off and that's it. I'm done. Like, I don't need to have like, say something. I don't need to, mm -hmm. you know, get my, I, I don't know. It's like, once I'm done, I'm done. Like yeah. we're not getting back together. Yeah. At least that's how I work. Mm -hmm. So next question, um, we said, how do you typically handle things with an ex post breakup? Specifically post breakup, not when they come back, but post breakup dealing with things. Yeah. So, um, People said, delete pictures, don't stay friends. A lot of zero contact is key. Mm -hmm. And I completely agree. Yeah. Um, donate all his things. <laughs> I died at that. I, a lot of delete pictures, which sometimes I'm like, is that like immature? But like, no, I think that's like, like, why would you keep pictures yeah. on your profile? You know? Yeah. Do you delete them off your phone? Yes. Me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Do you delete their number? Um, let me check. I mean, I block, they're blocked, so no, because okay. you have to have the number to block it, right? Or, yeah, but then know? once it's blocked, I think it's gone. Okay. Yeah. I think. No, no, it's not. So some of them, like the, the ones years ago, are deleted. The more recent, I guess, are not. So someone had said here, which I agree with, unfollow slash remove them. If not, you're constantly subconsciously posting for them yeah and I see like not that but like you're looking like oh do they look at my story mm -hmm. do they do this and it's like I just feel like that's not healthy like you don't care about you know so you should just remove them so you don't have to look at that stuff I think when it comes to how to handle things post breakup I think out of sight out of mind is yeah. like the best yeah. way to handle it obviously out of mind is really hard but it'll eventually Well, out of sight happen. will lead to out of mind. Yeah, and like that Taylor Swift song, I Forgot You Existed. Yeah. Like, I actually think that's the perfect song to describe what it feels like. At one day you wake up and you're like, oh my God, I didn't even think yeah, ex -who. of this person. Um, okay, <laughs> so then we asked, what's the craziest story you have involving an ex coming back? There are some crazy ones in here. Day of... Oh my God, we had a couple of these. We had a couple of these and it's quite terrifying. Day of wedding, he texts saying he has no problem calling off his wedding if I take him back. Yeah. Blink. I wonder how, blink, that, blink. how that relationship ended. Like if it was her choice or his. I don't know. Because that is... But the poor new wife. Justice for the bride. <laughs> justice for the bride. Um, emailing my work email because he was blocked and everything else. Yeah, that's like... This one's a little crazy. Took my ex back and soon after we were on a bus trip to Disney. I found out on the bus that he cheated on me with a girl that was on the bus too. Who put that out there on a bus for four hours? I don't know. Um, um, sending me an MLA format essay apologizing that he screwed up. Yeah. Another one. A week before getting married, he texted me to tell me not, not to get married. married. Tells me he wants to get back with me. I told him to stop texting me. He's such a loser. He got with my friend, came back, then got with her roommate, came back. Yike! Horrible. Yike a doodle do. Yeah. I have to, moral of the story, stay away from the ex. Ex called me after three years to tell me he was marrying his new girlfriend of two months. Oh, okay. Like, Best thanks. Of luck. <laughs> so, what did I learn today? Um, 
their exes that they could be getting married and and so yeah and still be reaching that's actually very scary yeah well that's like one of mine i told you he's engaged yes yeah 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 no girls i think the moral of the story and guys is don't get back to your get back with your ex they're an ex for a reason yeah you know and like i said uh moral of the story to the ex trying to get back with the other person like it shouldn't be that hard for the ex that wants to get back with their ex just leave that person alone yeah they're trying to heal yeah they don't need you in in your life you're out of it for a reason find someone else find someone else yeah They'll never be as good. No, no, they they you won't. Know, you will. They'll always be a downgrade. But you know, find someone else. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> good luck. Okay, pop culture, shall yes, we? Yes, let's get into some pop culture. Do you want to start off with the Bumble craziness? Oh yeah, I mean, who came up with that idea? Well, let's give this... let's let's let the girls know what happened. Sure. I mean, I'm sure that they know if they're on TikTok, but let's still let them know. Yeah. So you know how Bumble did that whole nothing burger of a rebrand. So now they did billboards. Was it just billboards, or were they marketing like digital campaigns too? I'm not sure, but definitely d- billboards. Yeah. Um, having to do with celibacy, and let me pull up the exact ones, like a vow of celibacy, and. A vow of celibacy is not the answer. Thou shall not give up on dating and become a nun. You know full well a vow of celibacy is not the answer. So these were the campaigns. So it's like, I I don't even know. Like, I don't know. I just think like, horrible. I, I just, I don't get what they were thinking. Like, that doesn't solve the issues that your app is having or like that people are having. So like to solve the issues. that. In their mind, it's to a hookup salt, culture. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's just I don't. Maybe that's the route that they want to take. But like, I read that and I'm like, oh, so you're promoting your dating app where you're meant to find real connections to actually just be a hookup app. Mm-hmm. Is that their slogan? What's it? Do they have one? Because you know how Hinge is like the app meant to be deleted. Yeah, Does I, Bumble I have a slogan. I'm sure that they do, but I'm sure it's changed now you know not don't take a vow of celibacy but i just think it's so out of touch to be quite honest and Mm -hmm. not even addressing the real issue yeah it was just very stupid honestly yeah (laughs) like like, you spent all this time like brainstorming ways to rebrand and like that's 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 what you you came up up with with? So yeah, they removed the ads and they issued an apology yes which i actually felt like the apology was really great did they explain what where they were going with that they said that they were trying to find like a way to um to connect to their audience and like connect to the problems that their audience has said that they've had um and make a joke out of like people saying like oh i'm just gonna be celibate because of these horrible laps so they were trying to make it a humor Mm. humorous campaign but it just missed the mark um because big time yeah like i just even even their their ads that they had on tiktok that i can't remember them exactly but like the funny ones that they were posting yes make that a billboard you know what like have a meeting and bring in a couple of app users or former app users and get their opinion like who's listening to yeah yeah and it's like just because people are not using your app doesn't mean they're like being celibate they're just over your app and they're like using looking for other forms of meeting people i don't know i don't know i just i really like why and it's going over my head i mean i think like my biggest not my biggest issues but one of the issues that i have with this is that we're already in such a hookup culture right you know and um a lot of people like myself I think that that's why dating is so horrible and so hard right now is because you can't find somebody who or it's difficult to find somebody who wants to be serious because all they're looking for is a hookup Mm -hmm. so for them to be promoting that culture when we're really not not only SGF but people in general are really wanting to take a turn and not continue feeding into that yeah it's really unfortunate and really missed the mark like they could have they could have thought up of a campaign that could have been something about actually creating genuine connections and serious, something serious. Like we've already, people already have the hookup app, Tinder. I was just going to say that. People already have that. Mm -hmm. Like, 
And if your whole thing, because Bumble's whole thing is like girls making the first move and girls being in charge and all of that, like, I just don't feel like if girls are saying these apps are horrible, I'm taking a vow of celibacy, mm -hmm. then figure out how not to make those apps horrible. Yeah. Yeah. How can and you connect to the to young women then? Yeah. It's not going to be making fun of. Honestly, I think those TikToks they were doing were hit, like they were hitting. People were connecting with them because they were common phrases that people are saying. I'm going to try to find them. Common phrases that people were saying regarding the apps. So they could have done something with that. Okay, so see like this one. It's like a girl like kind of like this and it says them. I want to stay up all night talking to you, me, like that. You know, mm -hmm. like it's funny. It's something that someone relates to. I'm not like other guys or whatever. My mom, I don't know. Like these, to me, this could be a billboard and yes. this could be funny. Like Way they, better they, than what they were doing. They had something. But I sent you flame emojis. You know, like they could yes. do that and be like, find something real on Bumble. You know, like, yes, Bumble, take our idea. I, seriously, like, take our are, idea. I mean, marketing. give us a little bit of credit. Kit. G we give us a little bit of credit. You but know, like, like, come yeah. on. You're the only girl I'm talking to. Like, she doesn't believe it. You know, like, they could have used this and it would have been yes. better. I don't know why they went this route. I, I'm not. I'm not understanding. I'm Bumble, not if you either. need some help, reach out. Yeah. Um, you know, we can we help you. We would love to help you out um, because clearly yeah. you need it. Yeah. Whoever's in that boardroom is not, they don't know what they're talking about. No. You know what? The people in those in that boardroom, they're probably married. They've oh. probably been out of the dating scene for years. Yeah. They have the most like, advice. <laughs> you need fresh people to come in there and be like, this is what we need in these apps. Give it to us. Yeah, so um, we should clip this. Bumble, if you would like us to come and give our opinion, we're, we're coming. Like, even these little videos that they were doing, interviewing people, like, cute. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They, but I think, they really... I think if there's anything to learn about this story, it's that people are still fed up with the apps. Mm -hmm. The apps had their time, and I think it's no longer their time, and... People just want to make real connections out in the wild, find like common ground, common activities where different types of people go. And that's why we did SGF, mm -hmm. honestly, mm -hmm. was to take the app out of the app. Take the app out of the app. Put that on a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Okay. Um, from um, Bumble to... Bumble. <laughs> Dorit and PK have announced their separation, which honestly I'm not super shocked about. Mm -hmm. There's been rumors. Um, she's going to be back on the show. Well, yes. I'm sure that they're going to want to follow that storyline. And Kyle must be... Now I get it. She must have been so annoyed, like Dorit wanting to talk about her marriage, mm -hmm. Kyle's marriage, mm -hmm. when like secretly she was dealing with that. Because wasn't that weird? Remember he was in London for like ever? Definitely weird. Um, I'm sad for them because they do have oh, two young course. kids. Yeah. And I did like them together. I wonder if the separation had anything to do with um, Dorit's like PTSD. I know. He wasn't very nice. He wasn't very that. understanding. Yeah. Um, and I think too, like, I think this happens in a lot of relationships, but the key to having a relationship grow is that you guys grow together mm -hmm. but I think that they were just growing apart yeah they were having so much separation like yeah. just like lives apart yeah their and lives was it was doing? really hard to intertwine their lives yeah they were they were often separated yeah so yeah and it wasn't usually like that I don't feel like he was like absent from the show in prior seasons as much as he was this one. Yeah. They must have been struggling. Yeah. And didn't want to deal with it. Because when he was on camera, they, it was always, like, not the best. I know. Like, in therapy. I know. Yeah. This last season did not paint him in a, in a mm -mm. nice light. Mm -mm. That's for sure. So, um, sad for those kids. Because yeah. they are very young. Yeah. You know. It but is sad. We'll see. Um, we'll see what plays but out maybe on the Jared show. Maybe Dorit and, um, what's this guy's name? Mauricio. Mauricio will end up together. Oh, gosh. That's horrible. Now that would be a good storyline. That's horrible. Horrible for Kyle, but great for us. Oh. Yeah. I, she's going to end up, this is what always happens, she's going to end up with like some super cute guy. I hope so. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I'm trying to think someone recently that had that. Oh, like she doesn't have anyone now, but like Erica Jane. You know, she was yeah. with this old, old rich man and now she's going to get with like someone younger and more attractive. But yeah, so so I had seen something that all the women now on that franchise are single. Okay. Sutton, Garcelle, Dorit, Kyle, Erica. So are they really housewives? And, oh, Garcelle, I already said Garcelle. That's it, right? That's yeah. Everyone? So they're all single? Would they be considered housewives, though? No. I mean, oh, there's a lot of housewives that if you really look at them, they're not really Married. the definition of a housewife. But yeah, so that should be interesting for the season. Honestly, maybe it's what they needed because it's been boring. Last yeah, season was horrible. Yeah, it was really boring. Horrible. You know, what goes up must come down. There was a time where Beverly Hills was so good. Like, it was yeah. amazing. And last season was a yawning fest. I mean, I was thinking about this the other day. Like, there's only so much drama that they can have in their life. Like, you know, there's going to be a time yeah. that, like, maybe just nothing's going on. Yeah. You know? Like, it can't always be something dramatic happening for them so but I guess they figure they have like what seven or eight girls like one of them that's what I was thinking going yeah on. that's what I was yeah. thinking but, but okay yeah. well, so, we'll see what happens and then what was the other story Hailey Bieber is pregnant <gasps> Hailey Bieber and Justin Bieber are having a little baby baby baby, baby. and his mom is so excited I know I saw that <laughs> yeah. I'm happy for them what did you think of their announcement super cute yeah it was cute they've been te- they not teasing they've been saying she's pregnant for a while like it's been rumored yeah there was like some TikTok where they were walking and he was like covering her and they thought he had said something about her being pregnant oh really yeah Oh. I don't know how long ago that was, but, like, they've been saying for a while that she was pregnant, but so cute. It is so cute. Yeah. And do you think that now, like, the Jelena stands will leave poor Haley alone? I mean, I hope so. Leave Haley like, alone. Like, Selena's in a relationship, right? Yeah. Yeah, that she seems very happy. Justin's seems very happy, so, like, leave them alone. I don't think they care. Yeah. So why should you? I think that she's going to be a really good mom. Yeah. I do. Cute. I wonder if it's a boy or girl, and I wonder what okay. they're going to name it. Let's take our predictions, boy or girl. I haven't looked too much at the photo. Let me see. Hold on. I, I kind of want it to be a little girl. A girl. One second. I, I think a little girl would be good for Justin. Good for Justin. Yes. Hold on. I didn't fully look at the announcement. And he's got his little sisters that he was really close to. Hmm. I'm going to say girl. Yeah? What made you think girl? She looks pretty big. Like, I don't, my mom always says this. Like, I, she says with boys, you kind of just carry it here. Mm-hmm. And I kind of feel like she looks like she has it more all around. Okay. Just, I don't know how far along she is. I don't know if they've, if they've said that. But I think she looks very cute. Do you think she'll go, they'll, they'll, not just her, that they will go with a more classic name or a Hollywood baby name? It's really hard because I watched the toast where they talked about this, so I feel like that's what's in my mind. Did you see? No, I didn't see it. Okay, they were saying biblical because they're both very religious. Okay. So I was like, oh, I could see that. I could see it. So that's just like what comes to mind, something more biblical. I could see it. But I don't know. I honestly wonder what they would name it. Yeah. Maybe something... That combines their two names together. Hailston? Hailston. <laughs> Baby Hailston. Hailston. Are we on to something? Yeah. Um, Jessly? Jessly? Jessly. Her girl. <laughs> Her girl. Her girl. Okay, Jessly we've got Bieber. two suggestions. Hailston, Hailston Bieber. And Jessly Bieber. And Jessly. Obsessed. Yeah, honestly, those are both kind of unisex. Yeah. I think they could go for either. Yeah. Well, congrats so, to Haley and Justin, Haley and Justin for Haley and Justly. Justly. We're so happy. Maybe it's twins. We're so- <laughs> In that case, you're welcome. We did the work for you. Um, yeah, super cute. Finally. And well, you never know, actually. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, cute. so we're super happy for them. Very happy for them. I wanted to ask, have you watched The Idea of You? Oh my god, yes, I want to talk about that. Yes, I did, and did not like it. I watched for maybe 10 minutes, and I was like, this is cringeworthy. Cringe. I turned it off. The fact that Anne Hathaway was right? in that movie? I was like, I was so, I had such high hopes, and I was like, oh, I had nothing to do. It was like a Sunday. I was like, let me watch it. 
And I love her. And I was just like, this is so I bad. did not like it. I was cringing. I did not feel the chemistry between them whatsoever. And I do like him as an actor because he's in that movie, Purple Hearts, on Netflix. Oh, I've never seen it. You that. should see it. It's pretty cute. Um, and I felt like him and it was, what's her name? Sophia Carson, I think is her name. Okay. They had really good chemistry. Oh, is it an army movie? Yes. Okay. My yes. friend told me about it. So I felt like in that movie, they had great chemistry. Mm -hmm. I did not feel like him and Anne Hathaway had any chemistry. Yeah. I uh, found it super cringy. I fast forwarded a lot of parts. You finished it? Yeah. Yeah. I got to the part where they were like starting to date, like he came to the art gallery and they were in the car and people were looking oh, and I was just like, no, I cringe, I'm done. Cringe. Oh no, the milk scene where he drank this, the, the old sour milk. milk. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, no, no. no I'm cringe. sorry. Back to sex and the even, city. yeah, even like the part where they're sitting on the, in the kitchen and she's talking about like her ex and things that happened with her ex. I just was like, I'm not feeling it. Yeah. Like I'm not feeling this being very genuine, like it's kind of bad acting. Yeah, and even the boy band, I was like the oh. boy band, and you know that I'm a you know One Direction. Well, I was girl. like, were the Jonas Brothers like this? But I'm like, no, no, they it was weren't. it was painted to be the One Direction. Oh, it's it. What happened was is that it was a fanfic, so it was a fanfic that was taken into or made into a novel, mm -hmm. and it was originally about Harry Styles. And, that and um, the girl was fake, but it was a 20-year-old and a 40-year-old. And the mom went to a meet and greet with her 13-year-old daughter. And that's how she met Harry Styles and whatever. So it's based loosely off of One Direction and Harry Styles and all of that. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I had seen on TikTok um, pictures of Harry Styles with that older lady that he had dated. I don't know if they're still together. Caroline today. Flack? Maybe. She passed away. What? Mm-hmm. Oh, so I don't think I'm talking. This Maybe thing. it's not her. Oh. Olivia. Olivia? Yeah. But who are you talking about? She was British. Oh, my God. And he dated her? Yeah. Or was, rumored to be dating What was her name? Caroline Flack. No, yeah. I was talking about... Um, Olivia Wilde. Wilde. Okay. Olivia Wilde. Yeah. So I was like, oh, is it about them? So, no, it's not. No, I don't think so. Okay. But, um, okay. yeah, didn't love it. Didn't mm. love it. I'm going to give it... A two out of ten. And stars. I saw people posting that it was good, so I was like, oh, yeah, okay. I didn't like it. A so two excited. out of ten. A two out of ten. Yeah, I would agree. I maybe, didn't like it. Maybe even a one. Yeah, I didn't like it. Yeah. So Anne Hathaway, mm -hmm. do better. I did do watch better. a new show called um, Maxton Hall. Okay. It's on Amazon Prime. If you're a book lover, it's it's okay. It's in an, it's from another um, country, like a different language. They you know put the English voiceover oh, over it. I can't. But um it was okay. It was cute. Like if you're if you're bored, it was it was a good quick okay. easy season to I watch. see a lot of people talking about that reindeer one. I'm not watching that. I have I it, refuse. Is it scary? I heard that it's disturbing. Okay. Um I've seen a lot of people talk about that and when I go to watch Sex in the City it's like in the previews. Um but yeah. I, I don't know if I'm gonna yeah, watch no. it. I'm gonna stick to Sex in the City too. And Housewives of New Jersey's back, so I've got that as well. Oh, good for you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just waiting for Bridgerton. Anyways, uh, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to follow us, it's Single Girl Fridays on Instagram and Single Girl Fridays on TikTok. If you want to follow us separately, I'm Olivia K. Rodriguez on Instagram and Hello Olivia Blog on TikTok. And I'm Alexa Amara on Instagram and TikTok. And that's it. I hope you guys have a great Friday. Make sure you have a margarita in honor of us. Happy SGF, guys. Bye. Bye.